Short to break then. Break three. Europe wins the right. Oh my. It's a golden break. A golden break. Wow. Let's see the replay on that one. Well, we talked about the standard improving. You can't get any better than that. Carl Boys. He's another man who's seen it all and done it all in Moscone Cups. And vice captain can't help coming out to congratulate Joshua Phillip. I don't think he noticed for a minute, Kelly. The reaction was a bit delayed. He must have been watching the cue ball. I don't know. Let's have a look. Oh, he was watching the cue ball. And it's only when his compatriot Marcel Eckhart calls it that he suddenly realises what's happened. That's how it seems anyway. You need a bit of good fortune, of course, for a moment like that. So Joshua Filler leads Shane Van Boning. Two racks to one. Yeah, he was able to put everything into the pot because of where the eight is. And a sense of inevitability about how this one is going to turn out now. It's going to result in Filler moving to the hill so three racks in a row go against the break and what it all means is that Joshua Filler leads Shane Van Boning 4-2 he's closing in on Europe's first point this will be a shot Very little Van Boning can do here. And of course, he's in that classic horrible position of knowing, particularly when you look at the way they're sitting, that he can't figure a way out of this conundrum. Great player to watch when he's flowing. It's like watching magic on the table. He's using that cue like a wand now. Alex Laley, Carl Boys. The brain's trust of the European team. Looking a lot more relaxed now. What a finish we're going to have to the evening. If Filler can finish this off. And final doubles will be to decide whether USA lead overnight or Europe can get back on terms. But still a little bit of business to be taken care of here. I think Filler's smile says it all though. Taken them a while, almost three hours since we started playing. But Europe have finally got their first point on the board as Joshua Filler, the former world champion. You know, we don't like to think about it, but obviously, if you're going to miss that shot, you don't want to miss it thick. And uh, missing it thin, obviously, you knew it would stay safe down there. Look at this shot. What a beautiful shot. And we saw a few players last night struggling to adjust to the speed of the clock here. No suggestion of any such difficulties for Filler there. And you've got to love the body language and the confidence of the way he sits down, folds his arms as if to say, have some of that, Tyler. When normally, under any normal circumstance, he'd knock it in, no problem. But this is not normal circumstances here at the Moscone Cup at Ali Pali. It feels like very little is happening in a normal way. Well, a beautiful shot there, and look where the cue balls landed. Again, much like Steyer in the last track, isn't it? Awkward bridging. Handled that well, though. Yeah. Just worry about. I mean, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Got ten seconds. Yeah. Let's go. 
very easy to judge when the cue ball and object ball are so close together. Phil has already missed one six ball to that pocket, but he didn't miss that, and now surely 3 1 very much on the horizon. Of course, Filler and Shaw have got their own personal GPS. Great potting skill. Good one, Phil. They do make it look easy. I think we could have seen that go roll all the way in to that bottom pocket. This is just a wee bit tricky. But Joshua Filler gets it in. 20 seconds. Oh no, my extension, right? Can you cut it in? Yeah. Come on, kid. You've got 15 seconds. No problem to Joshua Filler. Go, Jason Dave. said, are you going to cut it in? And he said, yep. Focus. And there he has it, right into the centre of the pocket. Come on, kid. Well, I think it'd rather have been a bit higher up that cushion, with less angle on this. But it is the natural angle. If it makes the eight ball, the cue ball is naturally coming down for the nine. Stepping up to the plate, and then his partner finally getting over the line. They were pushed all the way. What a cracking opening to the evening! Have fun. But Shaw and Filler have fun. doing what they say on the ten. Brilliant potters, and in the end, that made all the difference. that we saw the break before and in a heartbeat from 2-0 back to 2-2 two -two. Joshua Phillips got this tremendous half Q will travel attitude he goes all around the world uncomplaining loves the life on the circuit loves playing pool loves being one of the game's top dogs and he's made for this kind of environment for him that 4-9 is sitting there wow hit that excellent remember when they're so deep in the pocket it's hard to get them out on the new cloth you have to hit them harder and here's the 4-9 what a combination what a night what a turn of events again this pendulum is working overtime Filler went for the cut shot, and he's on the three. What a shot! That never looked on. When you put a ball like that, you deserve position. What an absolute Christmas cracker! That was paper thin. That's too far. Can he hold it for a good angle? I think he's just all right. Yes, he is. And playing it slowly like that effectively increased the size of the pocket. Look at the boys. Look at Pia's wife. Extension, please. Still has to put one good stroke in this 
if you don't hit this clean you're going to end up somewhere high on the side rail they're begging for the fans to quiet down hit it like a charm look at this Europe get ready to celebrate this place is going to erupt I see a whole lot of jumping in about five seconds. Yeah! Is there a roofer in North London? Because this one has been raised. Joshua Filler. He's won so much on his lonesome. Now, as Team Europe, he supplies the winning point. And once again, Europe reigns supreme against the old pool enemy, the USA.